Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. Looking at the HTC One, the greasy HTC One that has been touched by a lot of people, we're gonna take a close look at the hardware right now. Something that I wanna point out, and I've seen, and I've been thinking about this for a while since we've seen leaked shots, is the chamfered edge. Look at the difference in chamfered edges. They're a little bit different, and yet really they're the same. Uh, both the iPhone and the HTC One have this chamfered edge, both on the front here and on the rear. Now we really hope that the chamfered edge on the One is more durable than the iPhone 5, because the iPhone 5's chamfered edge is getting destroyed, uh, at least on my iPhone, from just a little bit of use. Let's take a closer look. We've got a proximity sensor up here. We've got an LED notification light, which is probably two-color, uh, not multicolor, unfortunately. We have a wide-angle front-facing camera here. We've got relatively thick bezels. Uh, there is a low ratio of screen to phone here, unlike, say, like an Xperia ZL, for example. Um, so it does have some bezels on it, which kind of takes away, I think, from the design aesthetic, but really striking how we've got a speaker on the front, or on the top and on the bottom. We haven't seen any phone to do this yet. Dual stereo sound, and these speakers are pretty loud. So we've got micro-drilled holes, hopefully the camera can focus. We've got an off-center micro USB port, which is kind of interesting. And check this out, HTC is putting uh, their, their power standby button on the top left. That's interesting. On the sides, four millimeters, although it's thicker, kind of giving the illusion of thinness, and it is quite thin. On the back, we've got the ultra pixel camera, which is basically four, or excuse me, two four megapixel cameras in one. And on the other side, we have volume up and down rocker. Unfortunately, no dedicated camera button on this guy. We're gonna have to start a petition uh, to get OEMs to, to put a dedicated camera button. We've got two buttons down here, which are backlit, as you can see. And uh, that's kind of a quick look at the hardware on the one. I'm most interested in this chamfered edge. And guys, have you noticed that this is one of the first all-metal phones? They're saying a big uh, hey you to Samsung, who's doing the plastic phones. Totally different direction than Samsung is going. I'm sure the Galaxy S4 will be plastic, which makes it light, but this aluminum design is pretty badass, how high quality and thin it is. That's it for now.